hello and welcome back to my channel if you are new here then hi welcome my name's Sir, and i do beauty fashion and lifestyle videos don't forget to subscribe if you're new subscribe if you're lurking and let's get on with the video shall we if you've seen my last video you would know that i am doing a project ken pan which basically in a nutshell if you don't know it's basically i've got 10 products which i have to use up like in its entirety and i can't buy any more products i can't get free products somehow i have to use up my 10 products that i've got right here um, I'm going to put on my face for you <laughs> and as soon as I finish a product up in that project tampon I'm going to switch out for something else so I'm using up different products at the same time as well so the first product is this primer by collection primed and ready primer it's, just, it's got a little bit left in there so you never know I've got a feeling I said this last time in the last video that it's only going to have like two more uses or something but there is only like a little little bit in this thing, I don't know if you can see, but I have got 19 grams of this left, so who knows, maybe next time it'll be all gone. If you've uh, watched my other video, you would know that you would know all the products that are going into this project tampon. But just in case, just in case you don't know, this is the Barry M sort of highlighter drops. They're a bit thick to them, you see it, so I'm having to like get sort of a load out, but I do like this product. So, it's worth it for me, plus I can literally put it all over and I know I love this product because it's so sort of beautiful and so sort of glowy, which is what I need in a product. The Soph x revolution palette in the shade extra spice i am going to try and use up cookie dough hang on i'm going to try and use up one two three four five six shades so that's going to be cookie dough cheesecake brownies chocolate orange reputation and enchanted so my goal for this is to pan all those six shades so i think today i'm just gonna go sort of natural i'm just gonna use the shade cookie dough and cheesecake um, a bit of chocolate orange and brownies just to have like a bit of a smoky eye but a bit more sort of dramatic put it all over put cookie dough all over the lid just all over like that 
I am going to go in with cheesecake just in the crease. Just like so. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to take that fluffy brush and then go in with chocolate orange just in sort of the outer sort of corner just in a bit. Just so it's not as harsh. And I'm gonna go back, well, I'm gonna go in with brownies, which is a dark sort of brown. And then gonna go there but underneath really no fancy pants here I will blend out because I haven't got a concealer or a foundation in my project 10 pan I'm just gonna wipe that on quickly and the next sort of step is eyebrows I have got this eyebrow pomade revolution. So I thought to myself, oh, why not do an eyebrow pomade thing? Which, you know what? It has made me fall in love with it again. A little bit. And I love. How it makes my eyebrows look. I love how they make them look full without being too over the top. So, powder. This is the NYX HD finishing powder. I have to be careful with this because one, it goes absolutely everywhere, and two, I haven't got very much left. You can't really see it. Um, and I am not about to open it up. But I've only got a little bit left, which I am so happy about. I really, I mean, I like this product. I think I've only got about two years without this, which, you know what? I am so, so happy with MUA Matte Bronzer. I've had this for donkey's years and it's still not gone down an awful lot. So I pray to God. I am going to take this with me actually because. It is a good bronzer. It's a very good bronzer, in fact. And every time I use it, I get more in love with it every day. And what is a good bronzer? I just can't wait for that when I finish it up because I've got so many other bronzers that I need to use. Blusher, this is the, I forget what blusher it is. It's a sleek one. You know the one that everyone was like raving about and everyone absolutely loved? This is the one in rose gold. And I do love it. I absolutely do love it. It's 
really like pretty, really like a light sheen to it, which I really, really love. This is the MEOA Undress Your Skin Highlighter. And as you can see, loads of like dust is forming off it. I hate that this highlighter for that reason. Because it's so dusty. I mean, look at that. It looks like I've been caking my face and sort of harmful substances. The product I absolutely love to hate because one, it smells really funky and horrible and two, it sets your makeup in on really nicely which If you ever smell that hairspray, you know, like the really kids' hairspray that you used to spray, like the glitter in, it smells like that. Which I mean, nostalgia, but it stings. I have used up quite a lot. Can't really tell, but now, last but no means least is this mascara from Maybelline. This is Flash Sensational. You know what? This is a really nice mascara, but. I'm just fed up with it. I don't really like it that much. You know what's like rave about it? It's a sort of more like natural sort of mascara. I'll put my lipstick on and then I'll get back to you. If you want to know what I've got on my lips, it's Avon uh, lipstick in the shade blush nude and that is my project 10 pan makeup i hope you enjoyed that i hope you enjoy me putting makeup on my face i certainly enjoyed it i am going to film the other project 10 pan um so tutorial um, but it's not really going to be a tutorial, it's just going to be all the products I use. So let me know if you want that and let me know any more videos you want me to film. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.